Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will specifically talk about animal tissues. Now when we talk about animal tissues, as I mentioned before also, as soon as multicellularity comes into picture, there are so many cells inside an organism that gives rise to the concept of division of labor. Because now there are so many tasks to be, uh, to be performed and there are so many cells inside the body. So you have to divide the task into one group of cells. So one group of cell will perform one task, another group of cell will perform another task and so on. So multicellularity introduces the concept of division of labor. Now let us take one live example from human beings. Now, we human beings are multicellular, all of us know that. So, we are made up of many, many cells. Now, how does the development process of a human being take place? Now, this development process starts with a small fertilized egg. Now, when there is a fusion between a male gamete and a female gamete or a male sex cell, female sex cell, fertilization happens. And this zygote is formed. Now, this will gradually undergo many rounds of mitosis, and almost a newborn almost needs some 41 rounds of mitosis, that is, 41 rounds of cell division. So many rounds of di division of cell happens, after which this gives rise to this newborn. Again, this newborn baby will gradually go grow and become a little bigger and then this will gradually become an adult right so this process happens now the cells which are produced now as i said there are some 41 rounds of cell division which is required for from here to here that is for this newborn baby to form now the cells which are produced as a result of these cell division they all take different pathways of differentiation. For example, some of the cells which are produced will become blood cells. Now, if so many rounds of cell division are happening, there are many cells which are produced, right? So many cells are produced. Now, some of this, the cells group together to form the blood cells. Some of cells will group together to form the nerve cells. Some of them will again group together to form the muscle cells. So that is how they'll start grouping themselves together. They'll start getting differentiated or getting specialized. And that is how different tissues will be formed and those tissues will form different organs. Now, during the nine months when a woman is carrying a, or expecting a baby, so that development takes place inside the womb. Gradually, new cells are formed. Cells get specialized to form tissues. Those tissues group together to form different organs like heart, lungs, kidneys. So all those organs will start forming. So this is how the entire body of the baby is formed. So what do we see? We see that the cells group up and specialize to perform a specific function so that the needs of the body to survive is met. Because for a body to survive, it needs all the organ system. It needs a, a digestive system to digest the food and utilize the energy. It needs a, a respiratory system to take in oxygen for cellular respiration. It needs an excretory system to remove waste products from the body. So this is how all the organ systems are formed inside the body. So when we are talking about animal tissues, we are talking about tissues of these kind, tissues inside the body of, organ, uh, body of animals which perform specific functions. Right? Now as I mentioned in case of animals, I have already explained it taking a very generic example. So even in case of animals, as I said, the initial thing starts with the cell then the cell group together to form tissue. For example, here I have displayed a lung tissue. Then many such tissues will group together to form organs like lungs. They'll again group together to form an organ system like the respiratory system in this case. And many such different systems will give rise to the organism. Many such different systems like digestive, respiratory, circulatory, etc. Right? Okay. Now, let us look at the example of the human body. So, let us talk about a very common scenario in human beings. What happens when we breathe in? 
when we breathe in our chest muscles move as you can see in the first picture right we breathe in we take in oxygen and we give out carbon dioxide now when we breathe in or breathe out there is some contraction and expansion happening around the chest muscles so it is the speciality of the the cells or the tissues which make up the chest that they can cause these movement so they are a set of cells or a set of tissues they are a special type of tissue which can cause such movement right now oxygen is taken in now once the oxygen is taken in what will happen to the oxygen that taken that oxygen is absorbed by the lungs again the lungs are made up of a specialized type of tissues which are capable of absorbing that oxygen now what will happen to the oxygen that oxygen is now transported to the different parts of the body because it is not only the lungs which needs oxygen all other parts of the body need oxygen because everything is made up of cell and each and every cell need oxygen for in order to produce energy right so how will that um, oxygen be transported to different parts of the body that will happen through blood so blood is a fluid which actually transports the nutrients throughout the body so blood is again what is blood it is nothing but a connective tissue so this special type of tissue is capable of transporting nutrients to different body parts now the oxygen has reached each and every corner of the body to each and every cell now what is happening inside the cell so now the oxygen has reached inside each and every cell now inside this cell there are cell organelles called mitochondria correct we have spoken about it when we discussed cell in class 9th this mitochondria will make use of that oxygen and it will produce energy in the form of atp molecules right we spoke about adenosine triphosphate so a reaction like this will take place that is, glucose will be broken down in presence of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide water and 38 atp molecules and these atp molecules are nothing but energy so this is utilized and as energy by each and every cell of the body correct so this is how any of the process inside our body takes place so for this what do we see we need that we see that we need specialized cells to perform its specialized function whether it is your blood or it is your skin to absorb anything or your lungs so each and every part has to be made up of special type of tissue which can perform a special function so now we will spend some time understanding what are the different types of tissues which are present inside the animal body and what are their characteristic structure and function so let us talk about the types of animal tissues thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again